thanks again for everyone joining our webinar. Uh, most certainly, I'd like to thank anyone that stopped by our booth at Acumenica Summit to say hi. It was great meeting everyone. And if you didn't get a chance to uh, stop by, uh, I hope everyone enjoyed the show. Today, uh, we're just going to go through a brief overview, uh, talk a little bit about the technologies, the integration with Acumatica, um, things like carriers that we integrate with, e-commerce sites that we integrate with. Uh, we'll jump into a live demo. I'm going to do go through on the demo pretty quickly. Um, but of course, if anyone would like to follow up and uh, do a more one-on-one -on -one in-depth demo, uh, you know, we can most certainly schedule that. I'll put up my contact information. And then, of course, at the end, we, we do have a poll as well. Uh, so with that being said, so again, real quick, a little bit about V Technologies. Uh, so we are located in Connecticut. Uh, everything that we do is actually done in-house. So, for example, things like our support team, uh, they are in-house. We're not outsourcing our support. Uh, we've been developing integrated shipping solutions, which at V Technologies is all we do. I've been doing that for 34 years now. Uh, we are a strategic UPS ready provider as well as a platinum FedEx compatible solution. So basically what that means is we are a certified solution for UPS and FedEx. So things like our, our shipping labels are already certified. Uh, we go through those pains of getting them certified. So your, your clients or as a client, you don't have to do that. Um, we also are part of their subsidy program. So if anyone is unaware, uh, UPS and FedEx, they have subsidy programs which uh, clients can qualify for and they basically receive free funding, uh, which of course you could use that to purchase uh, Starship. Now, in those 34 years, we've actually developed uh, integrations with a dozen ERP systems, uh, but been working with Stage for six years now. And of course, we are, in, I'm sorry, Acumatica, we are an Acumatica certified solution as well and have about 10,000 customers uh, that are using our integrated shipping solutions to help streamline their day to day shipping activities. Uh, so some bullet points, I get, I'll try to go over some of this on the demo as well, but like I said, uh, you know, we can definitely uh, schedule a follow-up call to touch, uh, touch base and do a more deeper, thorough uh, discussion and demo for everyone. But with Acumatica, literally it, it is a plug and play connection. Uh, so one of the nice things with Starship and that integration, uh, we're simply data mapping fields. Um, there's no code mapping needed. Uh, so for example, some of our customers, hey, we ship third party, we'd like to be able to have Starship, you know, automatically populate the customer's third party account number, change the billing type, or, oh, hey, we're using an Acumatic, uh, you know, standard field, attribute field, or custom field. Uh, we have some information in those fields that we'd like to get pushed into Starship. Uh, nice thing there, because we're just data mapping those fields, we don't have to go get a programmer involved and say, hey, we need to map in this, uh, you know, packaging attribute field or custom field. It's literally all done right behind the scenes. Uh, very simple. You know, of course, we can do that for you um, or even, you know, as a reseller or a client, uh, very easy to do on your own. Um, with our, our integration, so Starship is multi-carrier, multi-mode. So as a shipper, I'm going to be able to process all my different type of shipments just from one user interface, and that being the Starship program. Uh, with carrier integrations, it, it is a live connection, so we're going to ping them, return live contract rates, a small parcel, we will return published list rates as well. Uh, you know, even with USPS, uh, you know, a lot of our, our clients uh, find using USPS for some different type of shipments uh, is sometimes faster, a lot of times faster, I should say, but also less expensive than using, say, a, a UPS or, or a FedEx. Uh, but the nice thing, because we're integrating with over two dozen LTL, small parcel, 3PL carriers, it's really going to give you and your environment uh, more shipping options. You know, so you can actually always find the maybe fastest delivery or the least expensive, uh, especially now, you know, with COVID, a lot of the, the trucking companies, oh, you know, we're, we're not going to be able to pick that yet shipment up for three to four weeks. Uh, so having kind of those more tools in your shed, so to say, uh, you know, you could have 10 different LTL carriers and be able to, oh, well, you know, XPO is not going to get it in time, but let's try ABC's trucking, for example. Okay. Another feature of Starship is for the front office. You know, of course, we think shipping, we're going to help the, the shippers out in the warehouse, but we also help the front office. 
And included with Starship is the ability to actually do live rating right from sales order entry. Uh, that works for standard sales orders if maybe we're doing a quote. Uh, but we simply just add a button inside the sales order module in Acumatica. Uh, we could fill out the quote or the sales order, click that button. Starship's just going to simply scrape all that data, open up a screen as a shipper. Then I can even do my item to box detail or item box detail or item box pallet detail, I should say, for LTL type shipments and do live rate shopping. Even from there, we can do live um, address validation. So maybe we want to validate the address ahead of time so the shipper doesn't have to worry about it. Um, so again, that is included. It does not require any additional user seats or licenses. Uh, so again, it, it's gonna be there. If your sales reps, customer service reps can use it, you know, I would always uh, encourage them to, to take advantage of that functionality. And then speaking of functionality, uh, we also have a lot of enhanced functionality. So if anyone's doing hazmat shipments or international, a uh, nice thing with Starship is we actually have a database for all your inventory items. So we can store additional information like, hey, is this hazardous? We have hazardous profiles that can be set up, you know, including inner packing. Really all that required hazardous information can be stored inside Starship. Uh, same thing with international, all that required international data, commercial invoices, uh, or we can generate commercial invoices, but um, uh, country manufacturer, Schedule B harmonized codes, uh, again, LTL type shipments, we can store the um, NMFC codes, freight classes, because really with Starship, we just want to streamline that whole shipping process for your shipper. So they don't have to, you know, click on, oh, this item, yep, here's the freight class or here's the international code. That could all be set up ahead of time. And then as a shipper, all I have to do is worry about bringing in the shipment or a sales order, maybe do some rate shopping, click a shipping process button and have Starship generate my shipping documents. Uh, also, with uh, EDI type orders, we do integrate with EDI solutions. Uh, Starship could also generate 128, so those GS1128 or UCC128 labels. Uh, I know a lot of uh, users that, oh, you know, we're using an EDI provider, they provide that label. But with Starship generating it, the nice thing is it's going to be done right at time of shipment. So a shipper doesn't have to wait until the front office processes the, e the EDI order. And of course, with Starship's EDI integrations, we're going to automatically send that required shipping information into Axiomatica where, you know, the EDI solution can automatically ingest that info. But again, I nice think those labels can generate right at time of shipment. So I'm not sitting there waiting for the front office to bring me that special label. And then also with Starship, we do offer two different versions. We do have an on-prem or, of course, a full-blown cloud version. Uh, so you do have the flexibility of you know, how you want to install and run Starship. Uh, really, kind of functionality is going to be really all the same between the two different versions. Um, I will be showing you the cloud version, but just know on-prem is going to be the same look and feel. It uh, really kind of breaks down to pricing. So with on-prem, it is kind of a la carte where we, we, we would purchase the integration, the carrier modules. So a greater upfront one-time fee. And then with that, there would be annual maintenance. Where with the cloud, we just do different tier plans based on your shipping volume. And we have plans for small parcel and small parcel and or LTL. Uh, but with cloud, kind of the nice thing, of course, we'd be hosting it. We'd be taking care of it for you. But you do also gain access to all the carriers that Starship integrates with, as well as all the e-commerce integrations. So again, we can, uh, you know, any questions on that, we can schedule a follow-up call and uh, do a deeper dive into those differences. Now, speaking of carrier integrations, just here's an example of some of those carriers that Starship does integrate with. And as I mentioned earlier, live integration. So there's really no staging tables, you know, nothing like that. We're just pinging the carrier, automatically returning your live contract rate. Uh, we support different service options. If you have any additional contract options, we, we support those as well. But uh, really kind of if you're currently using, for example, like UPS WorldShip or FedEx Ship Manager, it's going to be that same call. You know, we're just bypassing those programs and just pinging the carriers uh, using API calls, returning that, that information. Um, also, Starship's going to return things like uh, tracking numbers, pro numbers, uh, you know, hey, do I want to use the carrier maybe for an LTL shipment? Do I want to use their bill lading form? Uh, but of course, Starship can generate bill lading forms as well. 
And then with e-commerce integrations, here are some of the e-commerce integrations we have. Uh, so with an e-commerce integration, you could actually use those as what we call a direct integration, where right from Starship, I can pull the order, uh, and I'll just use Big Commerce as an example, directly from Big Commerce and have that come in. Uh, right from Starship. And then, of course, on right back, Starship is automatically just going to send back the shipping information to the order on Big Commerce. Now, most of our clients, you know, using an ERP system like Acumatica, probably a workflow would be, hey, we're going to bring that order in from uh, the e-commerce site into Acumatica and then process it as a sales order or a shipment record inside of Starship. So we could use our e-commerce integration as an extension in those scenarios where Starship normal ship and process uh, procedure would be we send back the shipping information into Acumatica, like you'll see on our demo, but it would also update the order on the e-commerce site. And then if you're using, say, the built-in Acumatica e-commerce integrations, our integrations would not be needed because, again, Starship is just sending all that shipping information directly into the Acumatica tables uh, where they'll just grab that data from there and upload it to the e-commerce site. Okay. All right, so let me just quickly X out of here and we'll jump into my shipping machine. So real quick, what I have it open, I was earlier discussing about those mapping fields. So this is really, I just wanted to show this, how simple it is that we data map these fields where we don't have to get into programming. So for example, for carrier service, here's Starship, it's showing me, here are all your ship vias inside of Acumatica. And then being a ship via field, we can do data translations and tell Starship, you know, hey, UPS ground equals UPS ground. Um, and again, like I said, we can automate third party where we can tell, okay, if it's UPS G third party, automatically change it to UPS ground and the billing type is going to be third party. Okay, but that's how simple we uh, connect or data map into Acumatica. And again, here's just all those fields I have available that Starship sees living inside of Acumatica. So I'm just going to quickly close this and we'll bring in a shipment. So I'm just going to click rate and ship. And here's the main Starship screen. So as a shipper, technically, I can just work inside of Starship. I don't need uh, Acumatica open. Um, uh, now, from here, again, we can go sales order or shipment. Uh, just know if we want to pull by sales order number on right back, Starship would actually automatically create the shipment record. Uh, most clients, they do pull by the shipment record. And up top is our source information field. So this is where as a shipper, I can manually type in, in this case, the shipment number. If it's barcoded, I can even use just a regular wedge type plug and play barcode scanner and scan in that, have Starship automatically load the order or the shipment. Um, also down below, manual lookup, where I can manually look up any of my shipments. Again, these are a live connection. So as we're adding shipments or sales orders, can automatically be picking those up. Um, so from here, I'm just going to quickly grab, uh, we'll just grab an international shipment real fast here and just click the little truck icon. Starship's simply going to load all my shipping information. So here's my source company, my sender. We do fully support blind drop shipments where we could change this and have Starship automatically say, oh, maybe it's coming from Home Depot. Uh, so we do support that. Recipient, mapping in the ship to. Um, address validation, we do validate zip plus four. And then, of course, transportation, simply looking at your ship via codes. And those are what telling Starship carrier service, billing, account information. Um, in a live environment, really packaging is where I'm going to probably be doing most of my work um, because this is where I can actually build that item to box detail or, again, if it's LPL, item to box pallet detail. Now, if you're using a WMS or manually building the item box detail inside of Acumatica on the shipment record, just know that's how it's going to flow into Starship. So if I'm using that WMS and I define a shipment with two items in, say, like this Acer box and maybe one item in a small box, again, that's how it's going to flow into uh, Starship. So really, as a shipper now, I don't have to worry about doing item to box detail. But a lot of our clients that aren't using a WMS, uh, they actually just manually build the shipment inside of Starship. A lot of them find it, it is easier than doing it inside of Acumatica because it is really just dragging and dropping. Now, also Starship does support uh, packaging scenarios. So in this case here, it knows, hey, they're shipping an Acer laptop. Every time they ship it, they always put it in a package called Acer. So it's automatically packaged it for me. 
right? So those are just options. Unfortunately, with those packaging scenarios, it is one item to one type of box or multiple uh, boxes. Unfortunately, we can't do things like, hey, a laptop and a, uh, a motherboard and a laptop fit in an Acer laptop. Kind of designed it more for case packs because you can also do quantity breaks. But as I mentioned, if I want to move items around, uh, I can simply drag and drop. So here, motherboard, I know that fits in that Acer laptop box as well. If I need to add additional packages, I can simply click this icon. We also have repeat box functions where I can tell Starship, hey, you know, I need 10 boxes, have it automatically load those. And then packaging this database is just where Starship, you could set up and store different type of uh, but package IDs, or as Acumatica calls them, box IDs. Uh, so here I just have, I'll just select small. And the nice thing with using the packaging database is Starship would automatically populate the dimensions once they're set up. Uh, because of course, the dimensional weight nowadays is a big deal, and Starship will also do dimensional calculations. So for example, here with the actual weights, I'm actually pulling those from inside of Acumatica. But if I had a scale that was integrated, as you see, I could put this on a scale, have Starship automatically return the weight or manually type in the weight as well. Um, but next door, Starship is always going to do the correct dimensional calculation based on the carrier selected up above. And in this case here, because we have some differences, uh, it is now rate shopping. And when we process this shipment, it will go to the carrier at the correct dimensional weight. Okay, so you don't have to worry about those correction fees later on. Um, Starship's automatically going to do that every time for you. All right. And then even quantities, uh, if we wanted to, we could allow our shippers, say, to back order items. You know, maybe our inventory was off and we, I only had maybe you know, one out of two laptops if I was shipping two. Uh, but just know on right back, Starship is always going to update Acumatica with, in that case, hey, they only shipped one out of two of those laptops. So again, usually packaging is where our shipper really works inside of Starship because everything else is going to be set up to be automatically selected, even including our shipping options. So we, we could trigger these from Acumatica, even default them as well. Um, so a lot of different options there. And then usually the, the last spot a shipper would go to is this rate quoting. So I simply scroll down here, and this is where I'm going to see my live uh, contract rates with each of my carriers. And of course, with small parcel, we also see published list rates. I'm going to see business days, total days, the ETA. Um, applied charge in Starship terms is simply plus or minus any freight rules. So if anyone needs to do maybe free shipping over X amount of dollars or, hey, let's add a flat rate of $3 because this item is oversized or whatever the case may be, uh, Starship can automatically calculate those freight rules. And applied is what we're going to write back into Acumatica. So usually what we want to charge the customer. Right. Um, also with the rating that can be automated, you know, we can do best way shipping where Starship automatically selects the say least expensive carrier service or maybe even least amount of uh, delivery days. Right. But once I am ready to process a shipment, I can either click this ship and process button up top under the shipment. We have shortcut keys. We can save shipments, create return labels. You know, maybe we want to stage a shipment or we needed to include a return label with the original shipment. Uh, Starship can most certainly handle that as well. But once a shipper clicks ship and process in a live environment, right now Starship would just be printing out my shipping documents. Uh, for the sake of the demo, I PDF everything, so it does take a moment for it to pop all those PDFs. And then because I don't have a thermal printer, this document is what we call our smart label. As you see, simply prints a shipping label packing list together. You know, this usually goes to a laser printer, but it's just an option. Of course, we can send your shipping labels to your thermal printer or printers. We can tell Starship where each document gets printed. Uh, packing list, same thing. That can go to a thermal printer, laser printer, or even save it maybe as a PDF to a network share. So we got box one. Um, oops, let me go over here. Box two. Uh, documents, we can also customize them for you with the cloud version. Uh, unfortunately, it's just one difference between cloud and on-prem is that uh, the cloud, we don't have the template designer yet. Uh, like the on-premise does. So we would just need to customize these for you, but they can be customized. You can do even assigned rules. So for example, again, a lot of our customers, hey, we ship for Home Depot. They have a special packing list, has their logo, their information, it even has a return section. So that gets created inside Starship. Simply sign a rule that says, hey, Starship, only generate this packing list if the order is for Home Depot. So we can definitely assign printing logic to all the different types of documents. And then with this being international, 
Starship can generate international documents. Again, if it's LTL, we can do bill of lading forms, pallet labels. Uh, but out of the box, all this information automatically going to generate. And then here, I've just customized it so it's signed, dated. That way, as a shipper, I don't have to stop and fill out anything. And then here's our commercial invoice. Same thing. All this information is going to generate. And then I have it signed and dated. But just to recap, once I click ship and process, Starship is going to generate my shipping documents. As a shipper, it takes me right back to the main screen. And then what I'll do is uh, just jump back into Acumatica. So I can show you the right back. And here, as you see, I, once I refresh this, these two orders were changed to confirm. So Starship's automatically going to update uh, the shipment record as soon as we click ship and process. So now it's marked confirmed on the shipping. Here's the write back of freight cost, freight price. So if you'd like, we can write back your contract rate. And then of course, what we wanna charge the customer, again, plus or minus any freight rules. Uh, we can also do write back rules. So maybe, you know, nowadays a lot of clients, oh, we already charge the customer for freight on our website. In those scenarios, we can simply tell Starship, hey, do not write back or override that freight price. And then in packaging, uh, here in this case, I built this shipment inside of Starship, but as you see, it's still going to reverse translate the boxes that I use. Down below is what I put in each box with the quantities that I'm shipping. There's the small box with that little heart rate monitor. Um, here's my tracking information. Customer reference one and two, if you'd like, uh, we can simply send back additional shipping information into these fields. So I actually have it set up where I'm doing dimensional weight and, of course, the ETA from the carrier. And then also we can create a note up to you. Same with the note, you know, hey, what do you want to write back? We can send back additional information into this note. And then with LTL type shipments, uh, the note can actually be different than a small parcel. So if you need additional information for say an LTL, uh, you know, that note could be set up and be different than the uh, small parcel shipments. Okay. Um, and real quick, uh, one thing I just want to show about that e-notify program, I'm just going to log into our dashboard program. So this is included uh, kind of just like that rate quoting from sales order entry, no additional user seats are required. So this is really just our reporting tool, you know, from here, if I wanted to, a customer service rep could drill down in. Uh, now, of course, a lot of this information is going to be back inside of Acumatica, but if they wanted to, they could use dashboard. I actually have some clients that use this because, oh, the customer called, hey, they lost their uh, commercial invoice or their packing list or the bill waiting form. So right from here, a customer service rep could go see any of the documents that were printed. And of course they can print or preview them right from this screen. Okay, so I'm just gonna close that. And of course we have a bunch of canned reports as well um, out of the box, a bunch of crystal reports that can be run. So all of our daily history shipments, late deliveries, applied uh, contracts, uh, so you can see if you're shorting yourself on shipments if you'd like. But also in here, we do add a heat map. You want to see your hotspots. But here's really what I'm trying to get to is our e-notify program. So again, this is the program where you can create your own custom email template. And let me just bring one up here. Oops. Oh, it's going to slow up for me, of course. Uh, but basically to this program, there we go. Uh, we can create our own um, custom email templates. Uh, that way you can put your company information on there. Why is this not loading? Yeah, that's weird. Let me just try a different one. Yeah. Um, but anyways, we can, again, on, on a live demo, we'll, we'll, we'll show you that. Oh, there we go. So just real quick, a, a little um, example of this where we can just have this say anything we'd like, hyperlink tracking information, again, item to box detail, so the customer can click on that and go directly to the carrier's website. So hopefully, you know, they, they'll use this information, this email, instead of calling you and saying, hey, wh where's my shipment? Okay. Uh, so with that being said, let me just go back here and just want to quickly talk about uh, some of our current customers. And then, of course, I'll put up my contact information and then we'll check and see if there's any questions. Uh, but here are some of our valued customers. I uh, really appreciate them uh, supporting us. And, uh, you know, like I said, if anyone new client is looking, please feel free to reach out to me. More than happy to do discovery, you know, make sure Starship's a good fit for you. Any resellers, more than happy to work with you and your clients on doing discovery and slash demo calls. And with that being said, there is my contact information.
Oh, again, appreciate everyone taking time. Uh, and please feel free, reach out if you have any questions, anything else you'd like to see. But really appreciate it.